All right, what's up, Muck Gang? We gotta do a quick intro right now because it's raining. But I am right outside of Jolly Bee. Is right there. And yeah, about to order the whole menu and mukbang all the fried chicken. <laughs> Ooh, Christmas bundle. Should we get this? All right, guys, we're in Jolly Bee right now. We found a back seat right here, and we're just waiting for our food. So Alex is a Filipino, so I let him order for us. He's the expert. Just know that whatever you order is gonna be fire. I don't know if they do this on purpose, but there's pictures of fried chicken everywhere in this Jollibee. It's making me really hungry. But we gotta be patient. Good things come to those who are patient, right Alex? That is correct. You know what time it is? The food is here. This is what you call a mukbang. Get in here Alex. Alright, let me introduce you guys to all the dishes we got right here. So this is the Filipino spaghetti. Yum. Got that tomato sauce and the cheese on top. I'm gonna have Alex describe some of the dishes because some of these I don't even know what it is. Alright, so like I have no idea what this is. So that's a that's a palavo. So that's a traditional Filipino pancit kind of type of dish. It's with a special type of orange sauce. I'm not really sure what it's made out of, but it's really good. It's all that matters. And it has chicharron on top, which is a crispy crackle into that. Ooh, it's known for the Philippines. Chicharron! I have no idea what this is. It looks delicious. What that is this? Just American burger with oh. gravy and mushrooms called a burger steak. Oh, these are burgers. Okay, burger steak. All right, and we got a bucket of holiday joy right here. What is this? Fried chicken? That is the chicken joy. So that's chicken really joy. Fun. That's what the Dolby is known for, the fried chicken. I think, right. I think it's the best fried chicken compared to a KFC or Popeyes. Ooh. I grew up on it and we'll see. We'll test it out today. Yeah. I've been to the Philippines before and I would have to attest the Philippines has some of the juiciest and crispiest fried chicken. So let's see. Let's see. I've had Jolly Bee before in uh, the Philippines, but I haven't had it yet here in America. This is the Rancho location. so. Hopefully it's as good as the ones in the Philippines. We'll show you guys this for dessert. We want to keep it nice, hot, and crispy. These are the peach mango pies. Haven't tried these before. They, they kind of look like the McDonald apple pies. You see they're in these little things. Let's see, and then of course, the rice. The rice and the gravy. One thing with Filipinos is everything has to have sauce with it. Even steak has sauce with it. Look at this feast. We're about to go in. So we've seen a lot of mukbangs and they brought it back to the house to eat, but as you know, fried chicken has to be eaten super fresh, which is why we're doing it here in Jollibee. The Jollibee mukbang for the mug game. Let's do it. All right, let's get started, Alex. Start with the burger steak. We'll start start with the burger steak? All right. Well, we got served the rice. I like everything with rice because I'm Asian, you know? So that's why I love Jollibee because they actually serve white rice with their chicken. Like when I go with KFC or Popeyes. Don't forget, you always gotta put gravy in your rice. Yep, gravy on the rice. I usually don't, but we gotta do this Filipino style. So I'm going to do that. Ooh. Just a little bit, a little touch, a little touch of gravy. Gravy and rice, guys. This is something new for sure. I gotta eat this Filipino style, so whatever Alex says, I'm gonna have to do. So pass along the burger steak, get a piece of burger steak. All right, gotta get a piece of burger steak. Okay. Yeah, as I was saying, like if I go to KFC or Popeyes, I always uh, bring it home to eat it with my white rice. That's how Asian I am. I'm gonna try this burger steak right here, guys. Ooh. It just looks like a piece of patty with uh, gravy. Let's see how it tastes. I've actually never had this dish before. So the burger on is actually really, really moist. It has a little different type of marination or ingredients in it than a regular American burger. Extra a lot of flavor. Yeah, that's the first thing I was gonna say. It's really juicy and definitely has like a different flavor. It doesn't taste like your typical McDonald's hamburger bun. <laughs> I mean hamburger patty. It's definitely marinated with something different. This is pretty fire, guys. Burger steak is like a Filipino thing. I don't think any other culture has burgers with gravy and mushrooms with it, but it's always gonna stay for us. Alex is our host for today. As you can already tell by his gracious looks, he's uh, actually a model in the Philippines. 
<laughs> he signed under AMG uh, Management. So check out his Instagram page. I'm gonna put the link down below. What next, Mr. AMG Model? We'll save the chicken for last. All right. We'll try. We'll try the spaghetti. All right. Let's try the spaghetti. Let me know what you think. Actually, it. it's, it's a Filipino style. There's a couple of different notes or flavors that's a little different in the Philippines than what they do in the U.S. Yeah. or the Italian style. Yeah, I actually haven't had the Filipino spaghetti before. When I was at Jollibee in the Philippines, I only had the chicken joy. So let's see. Let's see. Already right, looks different. It looks more saturated. Though. There's more color in here. All right, Philippine spaghetti. Let's do it. Right away. It doesn't even taste anything like regular Italian spaghetti. It's just super sweet. Shout out to um, Jaime Eats, by the way. He also did a Jollibee mukbang. I'm kind of late. A lot of people have done it, but... But that put more sugar time. in the spaghetti sauce in the Philippines. Bruh, how do you not like this? This is delicious. As you can tell, it's actually not sauce in there. It's hot dogs. Mmm. Yeah. There's a little bit of ground meat, but um, there's also these chunks of sliced sausages too. They're like sweet sausages. Yeah, this, this is really good. You guys definitely gotta try this if you haven't. It. it kinda tastes like spaghetti, but it's just really, really sweet. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Which as you know, I'm a fan of sugar, so. I'm still not a big fan of spaghetti, but. Everyone has their own opinion. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of this next one. You don't like spaghetti in general, or you just don't like I don't spaghetti in general. Alright, what's the next one? Next is Palavo. Palavo. Alright, this is traditional. Usually we serve this during the holidays. I mean, but now it's become a year round thing, so. Ooh, so this is a holiday special? It's perfect for the holidays because tomorrow is Christmas. So let's see. Bro, this is a crazy dish. I would never imagine getting a dish like this at a fast food place. I have no idea what this is, so um, I'm they going do. in with no expectations. I don't even know what this is. So Make I see sure you shrimp. Get a little bit of shrimp, a little bit of chicharron, a little bit of egg. So I see shrimp, I see sauce. I think this is pork. Ooh, there's like white noodles at the bottom. So I got the Alex Go special, like you said, a little bit of egg, shrimp, and pork. What is this? This is like an explosion of flavor in my mouth. It is. It is. <laughs> I gotta take another piece to really truly taste this. Are you gonna share or not? I think they need me to. I'm gonna share. I'm gonna have to share. <laughs> well, I was just so amazed by the by that dish. I've never had something like that before. Basically, it's like thin, white, clear noodles. Like vermicelli noodles, shrimp, and it's like when you eat it, there's like crispy. It's those cracklings that make it. Mm. Yeah, the crackled, um, the crunchy chicharrones in there. I'm assuming. What's your take on it? Describe the lava lava. Lava looks a little sweet, a little salty. So you have all different textures. You have the glass noodles, which is very smooth. Glass noodles. Mm. That's the word. You got the crunch from the chicharron, and you have the little protein, which is a little bit of the ground pork. So that's all you need in one dish. Is everything. Yep. All I gotta say is. If you're looking for flavor, this is by far the most flavorful dish. Called palabo. Palabo. I'm gonna take another piece. This is really good. On to the grand finale. The long awaited Filipino fried chicken dish. In my opinion, like I said, better than KFC, mm -hmm. better than Popeyes. Well, you guys can come to the yeah. lobby and test for yourself. So. I would say better than KFC is not a high standard, but better than Popeyes, I'm gonna have to see. I'm gonna have to see. Well, actually, I have seen in the Philippines, but I'm gonna try the American Jolly Beef for all you American so what viewers. What I recommend is grab a piece, a piece of leg, and take a bite with no sauce, no nothing. All right, I'm gonna grab the leg. Damn. Just the texture, I'm just feeling it in my fingertips. It is pretty crispy. It already looks super crispy. All right, let me see. Let me tell me if you guys hear the crunch. Mm. So the skin is perfectly crispy. Not too much breading. I know some places have a lot of breading on it. 
it was just, just enough. Very flaky, very delicious. Now next bite, put a little gravy on top. Master Alex. That's, that's like the... The director? Alright. That's next level. Bring the chicken up to the next level, which is the salty side of it. I will say it's better than KFC, that's a given. I have to give it a little bit more thought before saying it's better than Popeyes because I really like Popeyes, you know? This chicken leg is really juicy too, by the way. Not this crunchy. Yeah, show them, show them all the juiciness in it. Mm. See all the juice in there? After you get past that first layer of crunchiness, you get the juicy white meat. Super juicy. Oh I'm, holding, I'm holding on to my nose. So. My favorite piece though is the thigh. Mm -hmm. When you get to the thigh. Alex love them thighs. Them thick thighs save lives. The best part. All right. I'll say this is a very close one. It's definitely better than KFC. The skin is crispier. I'll have to say this is the most crispy fried chicken I've ever tasted in a fast food place. You can't beat that. And it's really moist in the inside, really juicy. But the flavor, uh, I feel like Popeyes has a little bit more flavor in their, in their uh, chicken. But like Alex said, you're eating it with the gravy. So the combination with the gravy really makes up for that lack of flavor. But it's also a little bit unfair to compare it without having the Popeyes side to side. But I'm still gonna do it anyways. But look how crispy this is, guys. Hear the crunchiness? Fire. Love the skin. It's a guilty pleasure. I like, can never go wrong with fried chicken, so, man. I'm gonna bite into this big, juicy piece of chicken right here. Gravy on that, trust me, it makes it kind of kind of That bite definitely does it. The combination of the juiciness and the crispiness of the, like the, the crispiness. Yeah, I think it's better than Popeyes. I have to give it to, to Jolly Bee. And if you're a fried chicken connoisseur like myself, I usually take the skin off and die and save that for later. Mm. <laughs> you have to say the combination of everything, the moistness and juiciness. I haven't tasted a, a fast food place that has this quality of chicken, you know? Like, look at this. It's like dripping in... Whoa. We definitely made the right decision eating this fresh. Always. And that crispy skin, though. No. Very get messy with it. You got the log rage on it, get messy with it. Mm -hmm. Makes it 10 times better. So, consensus, better than Popeyes, better than KFC. It's definitely the best fast food fried chicken. No capitalist. Crunchy and moist, that's all I need for fried chicken. Popeyes right there, the close second. I just don't think the Popeyes chicken is as juicy as this one. This one is literally dripping in juices. Mm. Like Alex said, it's getting messy right now. Is it some chicken with a This is an OP meal. My hands literally have chicken grease all over them. I'm gonna do Alex's suggestion and eat a piece of chicken with the palabo. Palabo. But with a K, man. Palabo. Chicken with the palabo. Cheers. Mm. The palabo has like a like a shrimpy, uh, like a shri like a hint of shrimp taste to it. You guys like seafood and shrimp? This would be the dish for you. You guys are meat lovers and you had to choose one. You guys should get the spaghetti. Well, we are lucky enough to have, have both for you guys. The mug game. Right, let's go inside peach pie. You ready for it? Huh? Peach pie time. Peach pie time? You know what? Let's uh. I think me and you could kill the rest of this, yeah. We save the chicken for you. You gotta clean up everything? Yeah, we gotta do this for a month game. We gotta go big. 
me and Alex are finishing this for you guys. Last week, this guy ate 18 wings by himself. So I have confidence that he can finish this. That's what you call beast mode. And sometimes you gotta go beast mode when you're eating and gym. It's all part of the lifestyle. Beast mode. You just figure it like the lava, that's my, that's my thing right here. All right. You know what I'm gonna do? You know how Alex added a piece of chicken to the palabo? I'm gonna add a piece of burger steak. burger steak in here. Look at this madness. Tell me this doesn't look delicious. On top of the taste of everything at Jollibee, I feel the presentation is awesome for, uh, for a fast food place. Like, all the dishes look really appetizing and you know, I guess you can say about everything, but you know what I mean. The branding is on point, you know? All the all the dishes look just really saturated in color. Wow. Well, we're doing it for DBW fans. Killing everything. I'm killing everything for the mug game. Right this is a game changer right here, guys. Burger steak with this uh, spaghetti. I'm sure someone has done it before, but here at DBW, this is a uh, revolutionary. Save the skin for last. Best part of the chicken. Damn. He's too far away, but. I heard the crunch, so just take my word on it. That skin was really crunchy. So we worked out earlier prior to this. We hit back and biceps, so we're able to consume all of this food. Clean up the bubble. So much flavor. I feel like Dan's slowing down a little bit here. I'm definitely slowing down. <laughs> but it's so good that I'm speeding back up. I cleaned this up for y'all, look. Clean. Damn. All right. So I have two hamburger steaks and two pieces of chicken to go. Not gonna lie, guys. I'm pretty damn full. I don't know where that chicken, uh, those two pieces of chicken are going. But you know, Mr. 18 wins here. I think he can do something about it. Right? <laughs> what the hell, was Dan Mac? You got that right. Maybe W also goes by the name of Dan Mac. <laughs> Dan Mac Fitness. Now that means we got one of each and one of each. So, man, I don't think we can do that. Kind of like all you can eat sushi, but you know, you gotta, you gotta have it. Man. You know, like, I like your sushi when you order too much. In the last round, you're like, you gotta help me out. This round, we're doing. <laughs> this is that round, guys. <laughs> that help me out round. Oh my goodness, I'm tapping out, guys. Are you good? I'm full, but I can, you know, I can. I wanna, eat. I wanna save room for the peach mango. You know, I don't wanna be too full. Never tried these before. Are these, are these for the holidays? No. No, they're year round. Yeah. Our year round peach mango pies. In the Philippines, I had uh, the ube pies there. Those were fire. Those were really fire. Ube pies. All right, guys. I think we're throwing in the towel, but we still ate a lot. Like I said, one pancit noodle, palabo, one spaghetti, four with four fried chicken joints for each of us. And four burger steaks. Four burger steaks, rice, and gravy. So yeah, we're calling it. And we're still throwing in the towel. Got this to go. Yeah. I'm really excited to try this. I've never tried this before. Let him know. It's a little crispy pocket of this deliciousness right here. Alright, that's a very beautiful way to describe it because it literally looks like a crispy pocket. But we we have to see if it is delicious. Can't get too ahead of ourselves. Well, Alex already had it already. Look how crispy it is. You see the place deep fried. Alright, time for the ASMR moments. So you can hear the crunch. One, two, three. Wow, it was super crispy. I'm assuming this is the peach mango that's oozing out of there. I've never had this before. Wow. Let's try. Let's try. Filipino desserts are OP. I learned that firsthand when I was in the Philippines. If you guys ever go to the Philippines, you guys have to have mango smoothies. This 
Jollibee peach mango pie. Takes a dump all over the McDonald's apple pie. <laughs> Once you guys taste this, you guys will never go back to apple pie. Sorry, McDonald's. I can eat all though. Another explosion of flavors in your mouth. Like I mentioned before, I'm a dessert guy and the key to my heart is dessert. So I have to say this is the highlight <laughs> of this whole meal. Everything was good, but this is a game changer right here. Peach mango pies. Better than Popeyes and KFC. All right, I think we have the consensus. Jolly B is the best fried chicken out there, folks. No capitalists. Comment down below if you guys uh, disagree or if there are other fast food fried chicken spots that we should try out. We'll do a blind chicken test. We could do another video of um, you know chicken tests. Someone has never tried Jollibee. And we'll see what happens. Guys, that was definitely a meal. That was indeed a mukbang for the mug gang. That was the quickest, biggest meal I've had in a while. <laughs> that was pretty quick. We ate everything in a matter of like 25 minutes. Maybe less. We had a lot of food too. We're gonna split the last peach mango pie. Oh, I did an uneven split. That was a terrible split. All right, that's terrible. That was it. Cheers. Look at the ooze. Look at the ooze. Cheers. You know what this tastes like? Have you ever had those those dull mixed cups of the mango pineapple? It looks, it, it tastes like it's one of those cups in um, a really flaky, crispy pie. Really delicious. Is it, this is even better when it's hot. When it's not hot. Mm. It's warm, but it's still good. Remember, this is going to be dollar Get ready to Finger get hood. All right, guys. If you like this mukbang and food review of Jolly Bee, want you guys to like the video, please. Comment down below where we should eat next, and subscribe for more food vlogs. Mukbang for the muck game. <laughs>